This video has been a long time coming. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel Mendez and hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of me in the, the next few weeks because I'm gonna start making more videos. Uh, this time around, I wanted to share an experience that I did all over the past two weeks. So let's cut it short, shall we? Over the past two weeks, I've been doing what is called a uh, warrior's fast. And if you're not uh, familiar with fasting, essentially is not eating anything for an extended period of time. Warrior's fast is a form of intermittent fasting when you don't eat for 22 hours and you have all the food you want, well, all the food you need in two hours of your day. And you're probably thinking, why would you do this? Unless you already know the science behind fasting, why you should do it, why you should not do it. Now, if you go into the science of fasting, why you should do it or why you shouldn't, it's very easy, right? When you go into fasting, your body goes into a state of autophagy in which it starts repairing your cells. Now, I'm not a scientist and there's a lot more videos that explain this much better than I can, but essentially it's good for your body, especially if you're eating all the time. If you're eating all the time, your body is constant, is in constant digestion. So it's kind of good to give your body like some time to chill and just do its thing without you putting food on your stomach 24 seven. So the reason I wanted to do it as well is I had a weekend with my girlfriend We and we just ate a lot of carbs, you know, pasta, pizza, rice, all the things that I personally love as well. But I was just feeling very bloated and my energy was low. And at the same point, I remembered a friend of mine suggested I do a warrior's fast and I have fasted before up to three days without eating. And I thought, mm, this seems like a nice challenge and um, I did it. So for two weeks, 22-2 Warriors Fast only ate from 7 to 9, except for one day, and we'll get to that right away. So how was the experience? Number one, I would say pretty good, much better than I thought it would be. The first few days were all right. Uh, you still have a lot of energy, so you're still using a lot of your body's reserves, and you kind of flow through the first few days in a very easy manner you kind of got to struggle with you you know you get hungry at breakfast you get hungry at lunch but as long as you maintain discipline and you kind of focus on the end goal then you should be all right i would say the biggest problem came around the seventh day in which i had the terrible idea of going for a blood test while i was doing this experience and for the first time ever in my life i fainted now, of course, in that day, as soon as I got out of the hospital uh, after the blood test, I had something to eat at lunch and that was pretty much the only cheat day I had. Other than that, I kept following protocol. Um, and after the first week, I gotta say, I was feeling pretty amazing. The second week was where I noticed uh, really the benefits. And the main benefits I would say is, number one, my mood was like through the roof. It's much easier to be happy and just maintain like this solid level of excitement about life. And I found this newfound energy, right? I found this newfound energy, not only towards my work, but even towards exercise. I was, I'm, I'm still working out four times a week, doing mostly, you know, hypertrophy training, everything pretty much muscle building, right? And I was doing that for the two weeks. So that's very important as well. Again, not a doctor, but I do advise you to keep your muscles working because else your body will try to draw energy from eating muscle apparently to a certain degree. But again, not a doctor, you should look into stuff like ketosis, fasting, and there's a lot of YouTube videos. I might link some on the description if you wanna learn more about. Anyways, back to the experience. Second week, major benefits, I would say. Mood was higher. Um, in the gym, I started seeing a little bit more of my uh, muscle. Of course, I lost a bit of fat, so I'm feeling better about myself because I'm seeing my muscle grow and I'm seeing my body getting a bit more toned. In fact, I'll put the pictures of before and after. Well, let's do it right now. So as you can see, I'm actually pretty happy with the results. I mean, uh, I was looking a bit skinny, but then even with the fasting, I managed to look like I put on some muscle. 
And yes, this is a new day because I forgot to record the conclusion for this movie, film, YouTube, video. Anyways, going on to the conclusion of the experience itself should be something that you should consider. Am I going to keep doing this? What is really the future and what is my main takeaway from this? Well, starting from the, for the main takeaway, the biggest conclusion that I got to is that the food that we eat has a very, very, very big impact on our energy levels, on how we feel and just our everyday life. It's crazy to think that something as simple as carbs or pasta, etc., could me could make me feel as weakish as I was feeling, and that a change in my diet could, you know, feeling much better about myself, having a better mood, losing some fat along the way, all of that contributed to a very positive experience, except for the fainting. So I would say that if I learned anything with this experience, is that I'm definitely going to be even more mindful about the food that I eat on a daily basis, so I can keep my mood levels high and my energy very high. Other than that, you already know the other two benefits that I noticed. Number one was definitely the mood through the roof. I'm feeling much, much better and it's amazing to feel this way. And it's crazy that I did it just out of food, just out of a fasting protocol. And number two is definitely uh, the added, you know, tonality to my body, uh, being a bit more toned. Uh, I've been going to the gym on and off for a couple of, uh, couple of years now. And now that I'm really, you know, focusing on a consistent basis, going there and doing the work, this just accelerated a bit of uh, that muscle tone process. So I'm very, very happy to the, that actually happened. Will I keep doing this? Hell no. <laughs> it's just not possible for me to sustain a 22-2 lifestyle at the moment. I myself, I live with my brother. We eat lunch and dinner every day. I'm just not gonna do it because I enjoy eating meals with my friends, my family. And not only that, I enjoy eating. It's It takes discipline, it takes, uh, you know, consistency and devotion to the goal. And I did the goal, the challenge was two weeks. I felt amazing after that. Now I'm kind of still monitoring how I am feeling post experience. But what I'm going to, what I'm currently doing is another form of intermittent fasting, which I believe it's 816 in which I'm simply skipping breakfast for now. And to be honest, some days I'll have breakfast just because if, if I want to, uh, I have it. Uh, life is about balance and not being, you know, super fundamentalist, fundamentalistic about exactly the approach that you want to have towards it. So no, I don't think you can do this forever. And I know some people who do and they have amazing results, but especially if you're going to the gym, you know, maintaining muscle mass, that sort of thing. Uh, the best practices are really, you know, you should be eating every four hours or so and there are others and even your macros right if you wanted to make sure that you're getting your all your macros it's very hard to make sure that you're getting all your macros in the seven to nine window uh, just in two hours so i'm just spreading my meals a bit out through the day but another thing that i'm also doing is i'm trying to keep carbs for dinner and having something quote unquote lighter for both uh, breakfast if I have it, uh, lunch and snacks during the day, just because it's, it seems like carbs tend to slow me down as well. So yeah, that's my answer on should you, should you keep, if I'm gonna keep doing it or not. Should you do it yourself? Uh, it depends. Have you tried fasting? Have you tried intermittent fasting? And if you tried, if you considered warriors fasting, I would say definitely, you know, if you're a beginner for this, I would start with intermittent fasting first maybe fast for a day try to see how you feel and then jump into warriors fast it's definitely the most extreme form of fasting that i did even compared to the three days that i had fasting so i would not say that it's friendly for a beginner however if you do have the possibility and it's not going to affect you negatively in any way i would definitely recommend trying it out at least once in your life and it's it's a fun challenge if you like challenges then you're gonna be motivated all the way through to complete it. And uh, hopefully you'll see the same benefits as I did. If you're already fasting, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you, your thoughts about this video. And if you have, of course, any questions, let me know in the comments below. Very happy to help in, in any way possible. Like I said, I don't consider myself a scientist. I'm just a guy who likes hacking his way into you know the best version of myself and this was just another test among many that i did to see if it works see if i become 
a better version of myself. And uh, I'm happy to say I did. Happy to say I did. Anyways, I hope you have a fantastic day. Like, subscribe if you want to support me, if you want to see more of, the, of these videos. And uh, yeah, keep in touch. See you on the next one.